Hey, what's up everybody? It's the Tizzle, and today uh, I haven't done one of these in quite a while, but I'm going to be doing another Unity beginner tutorial. This is tutorial number three, and this is going to be a pretty simple tutorial, and it is going to be how to import a model from Cinema 4D into Unity. This will be the easiest way. You can export it, but you, d uh, you don't even have to. You can just save it as a Cinema 4D, like C4D. Uh, file so that's really nice and it makes it a lot easier so here's cinema 4d um, if you've not if you don't know how to use this then you probably want to go and look up a tutorial there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube of how to use cinema 4d it's 3d modeling software of course and of course you have to have cinema 4d for this uh, if you just want to use a cinema 4d file you have to have cinema 4d because it uses cinema 4d to open it so it's not like you can just drag in a Cinema 4D file. You actually have to have Cinema 4D. So I'm just going to make a simple little um, model here. It's just going to be a little house or something. Um, and then let's bring this up. This is just going to be very simple, very basic. And let's see if I can remember how do this. Wait, I'd have to make a polygon. Okay, we're just going to use the cube. My bad, guys. Uh, we'll just use the cube and we'll add a capsule on top of it because why not? So here's our little model. If we want to, we can add colors to things. Uh, you just go File, New Material. Uh, I'll just, um, you, can, you can have a custom texture, like if you want to add your own texture, like I've got some wood textures here and stuff, but I'll get into that later. If you want to make it just black, you just drag everything down to where it is black. And we'll drag this onto the cube, and then we'll go new material, and we'll make this one red. So we'll make the capsule red, and there's our simple little model. It's pretty stupid looking to tell you the truth so we just want to save it um... wait what's save command shift s that's what i did huh. well that's not working so we just go save as desktop tutorial nah, actually tutorial model dot c4d you don't have to type dot c4d after it i just prefer doing that to make sure I know what kind of file it is and everything. So we can quit out of that. Here's my file. Sorry I've got so much crap on my des desktop. But here's the file. And now we just want to open up Unity. And we'll go Tutorial. And once it opens up, we will be in business. Here we go. Okay, so let's make this a full screen, and let's make a new folder called Models. Now what we want to do is just drag t the tutorial model into the Models folder, and then it'll import, as you can see it opens up Cinema 4D to import it, and then there is our model, and it makes it goes ahead and makes materials, here's the black one and here's the red one. If you have a texture, then you have to add the texture here, but we'll be going over that later. Um, but yeah, here's our little model. Now, uh, it doesn't really occur with this because it's so simple, but what you want to do is go here where it says Import. You want to click on that and click Calculate. And you also want to go where it says Generate Colliders. You might not want to do this, but if you want it to generate a collider, then you want to check that. And then just hit Apply. And as you can see, it opens it up again. But uh, what generating a collider does is it makes it so that you can't walk through it. So if this is unchecked, then you can walk through it. It's like it's not there. It's just, uh, it, you can just see it, but you can walk through it. But if it's checked, then you can't walk through it. So I believe this is the main menu scene. I don't know, this is just some random scene. So we want to open up our scene one scene. So here is our little uh, scene. And I'm just going to leave this stuff here. We're going to need, let's add a light, like a point light. And 
drag it up a little bit and just make it a little bit more intense, maybe, maybe not. Wait, what color did I make this? I made it black, that's a mistake. Let's make it white. Okay, now point light. Um, I don't want it to be that intense. Let's just go one. I couldn't tell. Oh, uh, how 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 intense it was with the floor black, but we'll just put it about there. You can put it wherever you want. If you want to change the size of it or the the range, I mean, you can. You can also just change it here. I'm just gonna make it ten, and then we can drag our model in. So let's just drag our model in. As, as you can see, it's pretty big because I didn't make it to scale or anything in Cinema 4D. So what you want to do is just, uh, you can press R or you can just click up here on this and then we'll just make it smaller. So here's our nice little model. So we'll just play this real quick. And there it is. And as you can see, we cannot walk through it. If we want to, we can jump up on it. Uh, kind of the same as our the other little cube that we added before and we textured that and we've also got our nice little flashlight and I'll show you what generating what you can do uh... What, so if you didn't understand the generating collider is what it does and I'll also explain the normals so what the normals is it's, is it's like the way the light is on it as you can see here we can just walk right through it uh, the normals is it's it's weird. I don't really understand it. Um, it's with Cinema 4D. It's some like strange lighting thing. I'd say someone in the comments will probably tell me what it really is. But if you have that set to uh, import, then it it makes it look really bad. It's got like a weird look on all of the textures, and it just doesn't look good. But if you change it to calculate, that fixes that. And like I said, we don't really need it for this model because it's so basic, and the textures are. We, we've only got colors, we don't even have textures, but it's just good to do that for each one so that you don't accidentally not do it. So we just want to go change it back to generate colliders. And that is about it for this tutorial, so thank you guys for watching. I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on how to uh, import files uh, from SketchUp. So it's it's I'll tell you in that episode why it's better to do it in Cinema 4D. But thank you guys for watching, and comment, rate, and subscribe for more.